Sputnik. We speak your language. Sputnik Radio began simulcasting its web-based programming a few weeks ago on a local Washington, D.C. radio station that previously played bluegrass music. This week, the Russia state-sponsored network hosted an open house so other media outlets could watch one of its talk shows and meet editor-in-chief Mindia Gavashelli, who downplayed criticism that Sputnik is a propaganda arm of the Kremlin. To people who are not satisfied with just two points of view, who want to know more about the news in the world and in the United States, because I don't think that mainstream media is doing a good job of providing them this information. Sputnik's expansion comes at a curious time. An investigation into Russian influence in last year's U.S. presidential campaign is deepening, while President Trump is trying to forge a friendlier relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. At the recent G20 conference in Hamburg, Germany, the two discussed cooperating on cybersecurity, an idea members of his own party shot down. He's hurting his presidency by not embracing the fact that Putin's a bad guy who tried to undercut our democracy, and he's doing it all over the world. Sputnik was cited in a report by the Director of National Intelligence about Russian interference in the 2016 election. It said... RT and Sputnik and a network of quasi-government trolls contributed to the influence campaign by serving as a platform for Kremlin messaging to Russian and international audiences. A former reporter with Sputnik's wire service in Washington says the news organization does peddle propaganda. Andrew Feinberg says he was fired over editorial disagreements. They take their directions top down from the Russian government and, you know, based on the narratives and, and talking points that the Russian government once put out, that's where the angles for the stories come from. But political scientist David Zaccone says it's unclear if Putin and Russia's state-owned news organizations are having an influence here. For all the attention, all the money, all the resources invested in it, we, again, we just don't see the dividend necessarily, especially with all the news that is coming day by day in the American public. Because of its low signal, only people living here in Washington, D.C. and its suburbs will be able to hear Radio Sputnik on their local radio dial. But that could change very soon. Mindia Gavishelli says he'd like to bring Sputnik Radio to other U.S. markets in the near future. Diane Estabrook, Al Jazeera, Washington.